and all Americans of Indian ancestry all across the United States. Happy Indian Independence Day. We spare a special bond that I've seen deepen over many years. As U.S. Senator and Vice President, I've watched it deepen. Fifteen years ago, I was leading the efforts to approve the historic civil nuclear deal with India. I said if the United States and India became closer friends and partners, then the world will be a safer place. <clears throat> if elected president, I'll continue to believe it and continue what I've long called for, including standing with India and confronting the threats it faces in its own region and along its borders, expanding greater two-way trades that opens markets and grows the middle class in both our countries, taking on big global challenges together like climate change and global health security, and strengthening our democracies where diversity is our mutual strength and where we have an honest conversation about all issues, as close friends do. As president, I'll also to continue to rely on Indian American diaspora that keeps our two nations together as I have throughout my career. My constituents in Delaware, my staff in the Senate, the Obama-Biden administration, which had more Indian Americans than any other administration in the history of this country, 